Hey everyone, it's the man behind King Size Customs, and today I've got some premiums for you. Not super ultra rare premiums, but some premiums nonetheless. Um, these are the L or L RLC Redline Collectors Club from Mattel, and I'm gonna try to stay out of the frame because it's been a rough week for me. I mean, I still love my job and everything, but it's just been a rough week and. I don't really feel like prettying up to say. I mean, I'm not camera pretty anyway. So, that being said, of course, this DSLR will show every little flaw. So, anyway, I want you guys to enjoy the vehicles that I'm going to show you. So, I'm a big time RLC guy. I've actually been in the Redline Collectors Club for about three years I believe so I want to start it off with the piece that I really was looking forward to and I've got a couple other pieces from the Redline Collectors Club of course you know after years of collecting but um, I'm going to focus on some of the ones that I'm real excited to have so one that I was super excited to have because I had missed out on it before is this uh, thunder roller this purple thunder roller so that's really cool to have now those of you who have been around the channel for a while know that I love semis I actually wanted to be a semi truck driver but my vision wasn't good enough so um, one thing thunder roller it's a heavy casting but it's not as uh, it's not accurate it's not two one sixty fourth scale but hey it's a hot wheel you know it's still cool, um, you know, my Neo Precision uh, Peterbilt 352, again, that's to scale, and it's uh, resin, but there was a heck of a difference in price. I mean, we're talking like, uh, you know, $100 versus 30 so, anyway. <laughs> Number two, this is the... It's not the RLC, it's the Matchbox version of the RLC. I believe it's like the Matchbox Collector's Club. This is the Mercedes-Benz 220 SE Coupe. Which, I actually wasn't really a big fan of Mercedes-Benz. Till I got my Tomica Mercedes-Benz. So. And that really was what kind of got me inspired with Mercedes-Benz. There we go. And that's in front of the museum in Stuttgart, Germany, which is where the car is from. So, cool car. Again, wasn't really a big, big fan of Mercedes-Benz, but Hot Wheels and Matchbox kind of, you know, bring them out to you. Um, this one's a little special piece. I didn't even know this was coming out, to tell you the truth, but... This is really cool, and this you guys will probably see get cracked in another video. It is a 68 Chevrolet Camaro SS, which from my neck of the woods, everybody always wanted a Camaro SS. So, it's got that Spectre Flame yellow paint. Whoop. Sorry, still trying to figure out the camera. But what's cool about it is it has an LT4 engine. So when I crack this, I'll get you guys some better photos of that. So. And then this is something really cool. I actually want to crack it on camera for you. Well, not crack it, but kind of depackage it on camera for you. Um, if you follow the Lamley group, you guys, especially on Instagram, you guys may have seen me actually get a question wrong on there and lose a car but anyway so you guys probably already know what this is so yeah so I gotta actually cut some tape on it kids don't play with knives or guns or your parents car um, with that little PSA out of the way, you get to some cutting here. 
me grab. I had a knife because I, I kind of took it out of the box. Mattel's been doing something weird with their uh, packaging. They gave me like a gigantic box. And then also um, other products I do have from the Mattel collector's line is I do have the Matchbox, the very first uh, collector's collectible. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Uh, it's a double-decker bus, which I actually love because my grandmother is from England, Birmingham to be exact. Um, I still have family over there, which who knows? I may make it over there, I may not. I still want to make it to the uh, the Los Angeles convention. So, the Los Angeles convention uh, for Hot Wheels. I had all the money saved up. I had all the money I would need to get out there and get the hotel and everything. The only problem was, uh, you know, the great pandemic kind of shot my plans in the foot, we'll say. So, which stinks, but hey. And then I got injured at the previous job, and now I'm working the new job, and would like to go out there for a little while, two weeks need to get enough vacation time on that so there you guys go it's got this thin paper covering over it but if you guys also follow the Lamley group you already seen this so but and that's cool I wasn't anticipating how cool this was um, it's got a flexible suspension So, I know that's really dark, but it's uh, like a Willys Jeep. And it's got a flexible suspension, and they give you a cool uh, rock. They give you like a cool rock base for that. So, those are my premiums. Um, again, RLC and Matchbox Collectors, uh, Mattel Creations. Um... I've had my uh, fun with the site. I've had some issues in getting some product, but not a lot of issues. I've gotten a lot of the stuff that I've wanted. There are cars that are super hyped. I'm sure you guys have probably seen the Candy Striper drag bus. I didn't get that one. Um, I was surprised to get some others. I've got the 64 Impala. It's packed up, but anyway... So, those are some of my RLC slash Mattel Creations cars. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they're, they're pretty worth, pretty much worth what you'd be paying for them. They're not like, you know, the dollar cars. You get a lot of specials with them, especially like opening parts, uh, flexible suspension in the Jeep's case, um, a lot of unique things, so... Anyway, guys, take it easy, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.